hi aries welcome back to my channel the light of grace and this is grace it's time for another money job life reading and this is going to be for the month of may 2023 first of all i would like to say thank you for all your continued support and for not unsubscribing yet <laughs> thank you very much thank you thank you and for my new viewer i'm thank i'm thanking you so much for giving my channel a chance and hoping that there's something about this reading that will assist you and guide you in your soul journey regarding money job and life and if it does, please like, share, and subscribe and hit the bell button so you can be notified of any new readings that I might have for you. This reading is general. Not everything here might resonate with you. So take what resonate, drop that's not. And I, and I do not sugarcoat. I say it as I see it and as I feel it. This is the money reading. Aries with jar reading, Aries no jar reading, and life reading. And these are the gift that the divine and the universe is gifting you this May 2023. But before anything else, I want to cleanse your energy, my energy, and the energy of the space. And uh, please adjust the volume of your phone just in case I don't want you to lose your hearing. I want you to hear me. <laughs> All right. What's coming your way when it comes to money? This May 2023, you have Ace of Earth or Ace of Pentacle. Clarified by the Fool in Reverse. Two of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups. Advice, guidance, and messages from the Divine and the Universe. You have the Round and Round. Your dreams needs a black practical plan and the four of ones. <sighs> With this round and round. And there's two of pentacles here. I feel that it's been quite a while that you are juggling your energy when it comes to money. What I'm saying is that you're working hard. I mean, you're working hard is either you are having two jobs, you have two jobs, or you have multiple jobs. Or it's just you're doing overtime with that same job that you have. But it's been ongoing because this is round and round and round. It's a repeated cycle. But despite of the situation, it feels like you did not really do much to actually change the situation with the full in reverse here. You did not do anything at all to change the situation but instead you just do extra hours you find another job yeah that's that's pretty much it it's a cycle if you're not resonating with that it seems like you are tired of this repeated cycle of this hard work and having extra time to do other stuff to make some money to make ends meet and it's just Tiring. And what you're wishing is to have a new start that has a better pay, a new start that's going to really give you that opportunity to increase your income, to boost your income, or to even just make you happy financially. You dream of financial stability security and it seems like right now it's just a dream and it's not happening <clears throat> mm. 
The universe is saying, for this round and round to be over, this cycle of you going through the same thing is to take a leap of faith, meaning that you have to do something or you have to take action to change something and that is when this your dreams needs a practical plan is coming. If you're dreaming to have a new, if you're dreaming of financial boost or find that more money to come into your life, you have to kind of be logical about this because practicality is logical. Logical is practical. And uh, Excuse me. And however this practical plan suits you, whatever this is, because it can be anything, there's so many of you, and you would interpret the practical plan as different from the other person's practical plan. So whatever this practical plan is going to help you to get out of this repeated cycle, that you're going through, working hard, doubling the job, doing some overtime to make some money. What you're not seeing is that Aries, this May 2022, uh, 2023, sorry, May 2023, there is this opportunity gonna pop in your life. And I don't think you're aware of this. I think this is something that you're not seeing, but this is something that you're manifesting because you're wishing for a new, you're wishing for a new opportunity. Yeah, you're wishing for a new opportunity that's going to make you happy. Okay, and you put that in the universe unconsciously, maybe, or you maybe you did. And so this may, this door opening for you, this opportunity is just gonna walk into your life and say, hey, Aries, I'm here. <laughs> Look at the beauty of this animal here. So beautiful, like innocent and comforting. And that's what I feel like you're gonna feel like. It's a very comforting and a very soothing energy that's gonna come your way. And this is gonna help you to bring this financial security and stability. There's something that's going to happen to you this May that you're not expecting that is going to open a door for some financial assistance, financial growth that you're going to be happy about. And this is something that you've been wanting. And finally, May is the beginning of that journey to lead you to financial stability. For some of you, you're just going to land on your lap. For some of you, you have to work for this. You have to make a plan to take a leap of faith on something that's going to help you with your income and will get you out of this repeated cycle of just getting by. Okay? This could be a new job opportunity that's going to pay you better, a lot better, or maybe doubling the, the money you're making from this present job. <clears throat> this, is, this could be about winning a lottery. This could be, be winning some lump sum of money, or maybe you're going to have some inheritance. I don't know, something, right? Let's go to Aries sweet job. What's coming your way? You have the two of pentacles or two of earth. Clarified by the strength in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. The Ace of Cups in reverse. Ad advice, guidance, and messages from the Divine and the Universe. You have the Loyal Heart. Conclusions are within reach. 
And last one, King of Wands in reverse. Let me just fix this one here. With this two of earth in here, I think there is a decision that you need to make. Right now, this is your energy. You're the king of wands in reverse. Not ecstatic about what's going in your job. Maybe you're not happy with your job. Ace of Pentacles, I mean, Ace of Cups is in reverse here. You're not happy with the conflict that you're getting from work. There is ego tripping, or maybe there's some fighting and misunderstanding or annoyance that's happening at work. And these are the things that you have no control of. It's there, it's happening. And it's bringing out this madness in you. You get upset, you get disappointed. It's just annoying you and it's irritating the hell out of you. Whatever it is, conflict or drama that is happening at work. It seems like it's hard for you to handle the situation at work right now because some for some reason you're not happy with what's going on there is no inspiration this job might be paying you well but still not giving you that happiness sorry <clears throat> my throat has started to get itchy now or maybe I talk too much. <laughs> For some of you, it seems like you're losing your confidence about this job. The king of one is reversed and the strength is in reverse. There is no strength left in you. There is no inspiration. There is no confidence here. It seems like, is this job? Can I do this job? Can I really do the job that I've been hired for? Or can I manage this job? Because right now, I feel so upset and emotionally, emotionally bothered by it. Because somehow, everything is go crazy and I'm not happy about it. This situation can be temporary. This could just be happening in May, not exactly in April. This could actually overflow. It could flow all the way to June, but doesn't matter. It does it? The point is that there's something happening at work that is just making you feel powerless and unhappy. Sometimes it surprised me when I see kind of love card pops in some financial and work reading because it's like, uh, okay, why this card is here? But there's got to be a reason to why this card is here. It doesn't have to be romantic. All right, thank you, Spirit. What I'm getting out of this card here, the, the Spirit, the Divine in the Universe is asking you to look at yourself in the mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror. What do you see? When it comes to job, your job. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my back. My back hurts. What... Do you see? Are you happy? Can you see? Can you look at your face in the mirror and ask your ask yourself a question? Are you happy with your work? Are you satisfied with your work? 
Do you make enough money from this work? Is it worth dedicating your time to this work? And the universe is telling you to be honest with the question because this is loyal heart. There's so much honesty in this loyal heart. It's about truth. True feelings. True emotions. So ask yourself, look at yourself in the mirror as in literally look at yourself in the mirror and ask questions about your work. Some of you, you're hoping and you're hoping that you might that you might make some more money out of this job, or you're hoping that you you maybe find another job that will pay you more, that you will be financially fulfilled, that you will be financially happy, and it will sustain you, or more than that. The divine is saying conclusions are within reach. This is saying that whatever this financial situation that you're going through at work, if let's say you're not getting paid well, or it's about a situation that is happening at work that has some sort of a conflict, whatever this may be, it will conclude anytime soon. That is within reach. The ending of this narrative is within, within reach. So you have the two of earth as the energy coming your way. Like what I said before, that there is a need for you to look into things, to even make a decision, to compare, to realize, and to ask yourself the benefit of this work that you are that you are in right now. This is question you're asking yourself. It's about like a pros and cons about this job. Ask yourself, what are the pros and cons of this job? Look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself. Write it down in a piece of paper, the pros and cons of your job. And maybe then that will assist you to make a decision. Let's go to Aries with no job. What's coming your way? You have the six of water or six of cups. Clarify by the chariot. Three of pentacles. King of Pentacles in reverse. The world. One second. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine in the universe. You have the a change in the wind. Luck is on your side. And Wheel of Fortune in reverse. For my heirs with no job, you feel unlucky. You feel not lucky. You're not lucky in finding the job. And so here you are. You're the king of pentacles in reverse. You used to be so confident about finding a job. You used to be so confident in things. And maybe you had worked before and you, were, you worked well with your job. Every, I mean, you're a good worker. You know what you're doing in the past. You, when you had a job and now it's like you don't have a job. And, and it's so hard for you to find a job. And you're questioning your confidence your ability your self-esteem you're questioning maybe you're telling yourself maybe you're even telling yourself i'm not lucky 
Will I, will I ever be lucky in finding a job? You kind of compare your past to now because the sixth of water is here. It's about nostalgia. It's about looking back in the past. And I think that you're comparing your past to now. It feels like yeah, before, oh my God, before I have this good job. I have this uh, privileges. I make money with this job. Everything's good. And then something happened. Maybe the COVID happened and it's just... You lost a job. Maybe something happened that you lost a job. And now you're like, here. You're financially not stable. You're not confident. Because it's taking a while for you to find a job. You even question yourself if you can do this. Maybe you started to feel lucky. Maybe before you feel lucky. And now it's like, you're not lucky. But here's the thing, Aries with no job, you don't even know what's coming to you. There is a change. Your luck is changing. It says your luck is on your side. It's on its way. There is going to be some change. You think your luck is, you think you're down on your luck? No, your luck is changed here and they're right next to each other. Unlucky. And lucky but these are the advice the advice is saying that you feel unlucky right now Aries but I'm telling you you don't even know that what's coming to you your luck is on its way this situation that you're in that you think it's not gonna change it's gonna change you might not see it coming now we're talking about this energy. It's three of pentacles, the world, and a chariot. Come on. The three of pentacles is an indication of work. Working with people. Working under some sort of agency. Or a company. The chariot, that's triumph. That's success. This is going to move you forward. Whatever this job that the divine is throwing you or giving to you, it's going to be the bomb. Okay. I mean, we have the world. It's going to mean, it's going to mean the world to you. This job is something that you're going to be able to cherish. You're going to love this job. You're going to enjoy this job. There's, this job is being gifting, is being gifted to you by the divine. It's your destiny. It's a destiny. It's a, it's a destiny awaits to happen. Right now it's on hold. But it will happen. Your luck is here. Aries with no job. Things are changing for the better. Things are changing for the better. You'll be surprised. I'm not so sure if this is going to happen in May. But if this is an energy that's kind of lingering around you. But here, this May, you're just in the memory lane. You're just in the nostalgia energy. And that's why I'm saying this might not happen this May, but it's going to happen the following month, this job that you've been waiting for. Just hang in there, okay? Hang in there. Now let's go to the life reading. What's coming your way, Aries? When it comes to life, you have the page of fire. Clarify by the eight of swords. Four of swords. Six of cups in reverse. King of cups in reverse. No, sorry. Knight of Cups in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. 
you have the yang hi brister a personal issue which is resolution and the five of pentacles <clears throat> one second let me just kind of spread all these clarifying cards down below sorry you're not see, able to see it but i'll show it to you in a minute well with this a personal issue right which is resolution i think there is some personal issue going on in your life it could be money issue you're feeling poor you're feeling lack you're feeling alone you're feeling sad you're feeling depressed that might be your issues maybe you did you don't have enough money in the bank look at this guy he feels so like tired and down his head is bowed down he feels like depressed and not happy he only has four pentacles that he was able to save but he's holding to every penny that he has because he he doesn't have enough but at the same time he's holding into any small control that he has left for his life and that's where you are aries you're holding on to things that even though they're small you're holding into things because that's all you have that's all your possession is you might not be living a grand life or a happy happy life at this very present moment in time you're not be making a lot of money as you have hoped for or you're not making money as you have hoped for you might be feeling stuck in some aspect of your life that you feel like you can't get out of it that is really torturing your mind at night you think about your problem you think about stuff in your life you contemplate you think and it feels like it's slow you can't find the answers that's gonna sort your life this lady is talking to a snail and the snail is a very slow energy then no matter how many nights you think about your situation and trying to seek solution it seems like you're not getting anywhere or the process it's so slow and this might be the problem that you had since you were young this is a situation that you've gone through and i do feel that this group this group did not live a luxurious life since they were young did not live a happy life where maybe this group were not surrounded with a lot of people that cares about them because this five of pentacles is here they feel alone maybe because of this six of cups being reversed not having a lot of people that loves them that led them or lead them to become depressed it's so hard for, for you to move aries and i think this group is very specific now this this group is really really live a hard life this knight of cup it seems so hard for you to move forward in your life and it feels like you are trapped in this unhappiness it's hard for you to find love and affection with the seven of pentacles in reverse you're losing patience it's something that you don't want to focus your mind anymore it feels like you want to run away from this it feels like you're just done thinking about this and done trying to find solution you just don't 
feel like it's worth of your time to find solution to this one. It's like there is a giving up energy at the same time, losing patience. Maybe some of you, Aries, you ask yourself at night when you're resting and when the world is quiet, when am I going to get out of this? When am I going to free myself from all these problems and worries? When am I going to have the abundance? When I'm going to have more money? When am I going to get out of this feeling poor and feeling lack and feeling depressed and feeling lonely? When am I going to find love? When, 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 am I, when, when am I going to feel love again? When can I have this feeling that my life is moving forward and at the same time you're happy as you move forward? When is that? Because I am done putting time to this. I am done with the same stories, the same narratives that is going on in my life. As far as the advice here from the universe, there's only one thing, Aries, is for you to take action. This is the only way. You, if you, you can contemplate as much as you can, you can think and think every night to find solution. But if, if this plan of yours, if this thing that you're just doing is on your head, if you're not putting it into action, then you're not solving anything. If you hear a snoring, that's my dog. Thinking does not solve the problem. One thing that's going to solve the problem is having the plan and take action. Yang is a divine masculine energy. Yang is the action taking energy. This is the one that, that go after what they want. Now, this is the energy that's going to come to you, my dear Aries. Page of fire, right? This is, this is some excitement. This is a little fire that's just going to start uh, growing. Just start. One second. Thank you. I took a little break. I have to take my medication and give Cooper some water. So going back. This page of fire is the energy that's going to come to you, to your life this May 2023 something that is just going to spark within you that's just going to awaken your soul that's going to awaken your inner self and as you're feeling it there is a drive there because fire is a drive a desire it's kind of like a gas in a car if your car doesn't have any gas it's not going to move right so this May 2023, when it comes to life, your car is going to have a gas. It's going to be full tank. Now that gas is ready. That car is ready. I mean, not the gas is ready, but the car is ready now to go. Now the question is, what you're going to do? What you're going to, where are you going to go? What you're going to do now that you have gas? That is the time when you're going to start thinking, okay, what do I need to work on? What direction should I go? And once you decide where you're going, once you analyze your situation, once you figure out what's important, what's the most, what's the priority that you need to fix? Priority as in where is the first destination you want to go? And when you figure out, when you figure that out, then that's where you're going to go. You just go and move and drive. Travel there. What that means, 
that's just an analogy. What I'm trying to say is that when this fire comes to you this May 2023, any time of the month, it's going to draw you. It's going to push you. It's gonna make, you're going to have this feeling, some sort of an urgency, some sort of a push that you have to take action. That it's about time to take action. You just have to bring that power back into you and use it as the gas to move forward. This is an opportunity. This is a new beginning. This is a door that's being opened to you, having the number one in here. And as the page of fire, this is an opportunity. It's a new beginning. This is like a little bit of a window that is opening up to you because before you're stuck in a box all closed up all with duct tapes and stuff now the universe and the divine god poke a little hole on your little box where you where you're stuck for quite a while that you've been sitting in a dark energy the divine is shining light on you now in that darkness that you're sitting in or that you've been living in for a while. This window, this hole that the divine and the universe have created for you is enough for you to, to look into that hole, to take a pick and see what's out there. And you're going to see, oh my God, there's so many beautiful things that I can accomplish in just looking at them. I mean, I, I mean, not just looking at them, but there's so many things there that I want to do. I want to do that. I want to go there. I want to do that. I want to attain this. You know, all of that. It's just a matter of you getting out of the hole that the God and the universe created for you to, 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 to escape pretty much. And that escape, that process from inside the box going out of that hole, that is the action. That is the action you are taking. No matter you don't know the result or the consequences of that action, you're going to go. It's better to do something than not to do anything. A personal issue reaches resolution. This will happen if you take action. Don't be afraid to face your personal issue because the only way to resolve or to solve your problem is to actually face it and deal with it. Whatever problems you're facing, whatever situation that you're going through, it's going to end and you're going to have a fresh start. A start that is exciting, exhilarating, and it's going to make you happy. Like this little girl, she's smiling. And this little fire that's going to spark in your soul, if you let it be, it's going to grow big and you're just going to be growing and, and blooming and expanding all the way to the king of fire or emperor. This is a baby fire. This is the page of fire. It's a baby. Because you just started to walk. You just started to realize things now. Once you step out of that box, when you escape yourself, you're going to realize, man, I can do more. And then you're going to be denied a once or the night of fire and then you're going to jump to being the king and then once you already have the taste of that success the power you're going to jump into the emperor and i'm hoping you're understanding my my analogy and my explanation
So you have the Ace of Earth, the Two of Earth, the Six of Water, and the Page of Water. This May 2023 is about reminiscing. It's about assessment. It's about doing an inventory of your life with the Six of Water. Inventory. And through that inventory, you're going to realize what you need to work on, what you need to get rid of, what you need to keep, and what you need to cherish. And once you do figure out the pros and cons of the life that you have gone through, you're going to make a decision. You're going to make a decision because you want a new life. Not the life that you're living in right now. You want a new life that's more stable and grounded financially, for sure. A life that is tangible and you know that it's grounded. But at the same time, you want a life that it's going to give you that fire, that excitement, that, that excitement that um, it's a, it has this, what you call a, it has this rejuvenating energy, a spark. So take advantage of this. Go back, go to the memory lane of your life and see and know and analyze and then figure it out and then sort it out and then make a decision. These are the gifts that the divine is gifting you this May 2023. Patience, financial stability, financial abundance, nice, pet, and an admiration. So financial stability and financial abundance, that's going to go with this Ace of Earth in here. And I cross my finger, okay? But as far as the, uh, well, let's go pet, pet. Some of you, you're going to buy a pet. You're going to get a pet. You're going to have, you're going to receive a pet. But somehow, you're going to have a pet. <laughs> that's the gift from Divine, okay? Take care of them. Now, patience. God and the universe is giving you patience because this is going to be a long process and you need patience to deal with that process. You're changing your life if you let it be. And if you let that change happen in your life, it's going to need, you're going to need patience because changing life it takes a while. It takes a process. It takes determination. It takes patience. It takes courage. It takes hopes and positivity and optimism and as far as admiration you might be admiring somebody this may or you're going to be admired by somebody you're going to have an admirer or you're going to be admiring someone but at the same time the divine and the universe is letting you they're admiring you they're admiring you because they know that you have that strength that you need in order to change this. And they also want you to admire yourself. You should be the first person to admire yourself, really, seriously, Aries. You should be the first person to admire yourself. This is your reading, my dear Aries. I thank you so much. I am sending you lots of love and light. Bye-bye.